Hey guys, Ricky here. I'm going to be doing my Supergirl Season 5, Episode 3 uh, review, impressions, recap of the episode. Uh, so just a real quick, I'm just you know going to touch on a few things that I liked, a few things that I didn't like, and very few things I didn't like. But all in all, great episode, super positive. Episode opens with the, I guess the CW's take on Ray Bradbury's Illustrated Man except she was an illustrated woman was my first impression at the beginning turns out she has like some sort of spider parasite that transfers itself but also gives you all the powers of spider-man so i guess we get like our uh you know if supergirl ever were to meet spider woman what would happen um and <laughs> Oh, okay, I guess. Um, but really, it, it seems like a tattoo. Man, there was so many things with this alien. And I, and if I understood the episode correctly, she is a alien parasite, right? I guess that in, infest, infected one guy got transferred over, and but re shows itself in the form of tattoos. Then the tattoo can manifest itself into, I thought one spider but apparently multiple spiders and infect other people but also gives you all the powers of spider-man so okay <laughs> i guess we find out what supergirl does when she fights spider-man um the it's there at first seeing the parasite when jock Do uh, dr jacob or jacoby jacob Right, Jared? Jared. Dr. Jared dies. Supergirl apparently had ran into him earlier. I don't remember that happening last season, but I mean, there's so many episodes, it's hard to keep track. And all I could hear was Jordan Sparks, you're on my heart just like a tattoo, when Supergirl x-rays into Dr. Jared's chest cavity and sees that his heart is tattooed with a spider from the inside so he's he's tattooed that tells them i guess what they're dealing with regular supergirl hijinks ensue in parallel to that we're also dealing with john dealing with uh malefic and him having to go him wanting to go back so he gets with dreamer does like an inception on himself and goes back into his subconscious during a dream to try and find out what's going on at first he's having issues with his dad then he comes to find out it's his own to me not a huge deal but i guess in green martian culture you know erasing your mind because something bad happened is the equivalent of killing somebody so i guess you know he committed homicide quasi homicide i guess so he's distraught about that um we uh, all all through those I, I liked it i i thought it was really strong emotionally i thought it was really strong him going back in time and going through his his memories and him having to deal with it and it the idea of of how hard we we reserve ourselves or we we try to push away the bad things that have happened in our life i liked all that i thought the de-aging was really good subtle and i i thought that it made john look younger but it, i thought it was really good de-aging you know for for cw um and in parallel to that we're dealing with uh lena just being oh my gosh just manipulating not only the people around her but also kara and manipulating the superman family in the way that only a luther can it was just it was conniving and it was just sly and the way that she works in Oh, I just, I'm so distraught about Lex dying and even though he murdered me and kidnapped me and chained me to a 
chair. I'm just so sad. Hmm. Kara, is there any way that, I don't know, maybe, oh, could you please get me the journal? <laughs> F you. And then the way that she, she legitimizes it to herself in, you know, uh, was she lied to me and she broke my trust and it's like, and all the other times you lied and kept crap away from Supergirl and get off your high horse, Lena. But I see what it is and it's, it's so good. And they did such a great job setting this thing up for the past four seasons that I'm completely bought in to win she's manipulating everyone and it, it makes sense and it it's a credit to the show and everything that they built up previously that works great to me in my opinion um the jordan sparks tattoo illustrated woman chick spider woman chick there were so many things going on with that girl and i felt like they could have kept this bad person going for at least two or three episodes just because she had so many or the parasite had so many powers and abilities and things like that but they ended up ending it quickly and there's some sort of weird lost type of black like first second season of lost black cloud thing that just comes in and kills her and just leaves so I guess as if we don't deal with enough in this show, we'll also be dealing with the weird first season of Lost Black Cloud particle thing that can also commit homicide and have weird daggers that it pushes into its whatever. Cool. So we'll deal with that. And um, the I, I think that was pretty much it with Malefic. Um, you know him being pissed off he also trans transformed into a a fly which i thought was cool i'm like man john if you could be literally be a fly on the room this whole time why aren't you always transforming into flies that would be really cool for you to use all the time to spy on people so he turns some into that he ends up turning into rudy which every time i see him in anything he's always rudy to me so transforms into rudy almost kills Alex's girlfriend which I didn't write down her name but always slips me and um, so she has to leave the country I guess which I'm like why don't you just lock her in the DEO but you know don't want to make her prisoner or anything just you know for minding her own business so they put her I guess into exile or witness protection so that's what she's doing now and that was the episode Super good episode of Supergirl. If I had to rank it, seven and a half out of ten. Super strong episode. Liked it. Pushed everything forward. Um, and favorite favorite part of the episode was Supergirl with the two donuts, double fisting the donuts at the very beginning of the episode. Cutest moment of the episode. But I really liked the episode. Looking forward to next week. Like I said, if you guys like this video and you want to see more. Um, I'm new to YouTube, so I'm only going to be growing with time, so stick with me. I hope you guys can. I'll be reviewing all the CW shows as well as uh, Watchmen on HBO, which will be coming. That video will be coming in also later today, so I hope you guys can stick with me, and I'll see you guys next week.